Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind. Uh, last time I had a few issues with editing the episode, but the edi episode itself was mostly just fetch questing and shenanigans like that. However, in this case, I, uh... I think I might have found a solution. My computer's been being wonky. I'll probably just have to defrag and restart it. You know. So, I've dumped all of my weapons save for this. And granted, I'm actually doing okay with it. Running through the countryside, just bonking things. So, Cartag Point is where we're heading. That's where the recreated and completed statue of Boethia, Boethia should be. And as you can see, we're actually a couple of days over the limit. I wanted to make sure that it wouldn't be like, I actually needed to show up here at midnight on the 60, 76th day. Or something like that, you know? Hello, Gore. The Elden Ring trailer finally came out. I didn't know that that game was a reality, and I'm very happy that it is. I mean, to be frank, it looks like Dark Souls with a horse. But that's alright. It's good to remember that, you know? Alright, cool. Hello, gross balloons of flesh. Hmm? Did I aggro these guys? Look, man, they attacked me. I don't know what to tell you. All right, please piss off. hate this place sometimes. <laughs> Car tag point coming up. Jesus. Hey, lucky for me, I'm leveling up my stuff, though. Yeah, I was initially going to make this trek without any weapons, but I don't have any ranks in hand-to-hand. -hand, so I figured it would actually be better to, you know, at least take a crappy weapon that I can just dump. Which I will. Thank you for the assistance, Spiked Club, that I looted off of, uh... Like, no-name Ash Vampire, I think. Man, those things really turn on a dime. Aw, oh, shit, you can see it. There it is. Is it supposed to be facing this way, or... I guess it's a little late to have him turn it around, huh? Well. 
Set your wall built. Hope you have fun with new one. Shame to get rid of old Cartag Rock, but it caused some problems anyway. Big Rock. So yeah, it's a big fancy golden katana. It does very appreciable damage. So. Yep, we've got that now. Now that we're in Nisus, can close the how to Boethius quest. Um, main quest. All right, now we're heading to Vivek. The city. Is that an oval? I thought it was a circle when I looked at it from here. Weird. Anyway. You guys got a uh, Siltman, right? What is it, son? And he's probably a... Yep. Um, I think seat at 50 gold. Where would you like to go? Vivek, thank you. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. All right. Vivek. Son, please. All right. Where am I heading? I'm using the wiki because it's very, very difficult to try to remember everything that I was supposed to be doing. Uh, and I was doing this hours ago. Son, I'm gonna... I'm gonna kick you out if you're not careful. Oh, he's purring, though. He's too sweet. All right. Temple Canton. Actually, I should find a gondolier. Gondolier. A jondolier. There's supposed to be a man here, isn't there? Oh, there you are. I missed you. Under sun and sky out there. We um, give me the Hlalu. Can you give me the temple? You can. What is it, son? Do you not overeat enough? Yes, I'll Fool. I want to see if I can kill them yet, and I can. Cool. You bet I will, sir. Go about your business. I have to kick my cat out. One moment, everyone. All right, sorry. We are now X1 cat. What do you think of our we are looking for the Hall of Wisdom. Hold on. Just as offices. And I don't remember where that is. What do you need? It's weird to hear them being polite. Um Is there something you need? Okay. I'm in the Hall of Justice. I got that. Oh, I have a map, right. Office of the Watch, Ordinator Barracks, Hall of Wisdom. The only thing about uh, Morrowind is that you just need to remember to use the tools that you have. And in that case, that does include the internet. Alright. 
Mera Milo's quarters. Thought I remembered a key around here somewhere. Let me see here. Just says behind a drape near the door. I hope I'm not missing this. This is going to be very embarrassing. Tidings. Yes, tidings to you too. How do you do, fellow worshiper of Vivek? Ooh, the library. Is there something you need? Can you help me figure out where Maramilo is? Works in the library. She's not here. She's in a private yada yada yada. Thank you. I guess I might just lick rip the lock open. Since I've got that thing of opening, right? Maybe I'll pick it. Five gold? Whatever. Amaya, sorry I missed you. Had to run some old documents to the Inquisitor at the Ministry of Truth, and I'll be tied up there for a while. Why don't you meet me there as soon as you can? Then we can leave together as soon as I'm done. Uh, and Amaya, don't forget to bring the two Divine Intervention Scrolls you borrowed, or if you use them, buy a couple of new ones for me. I'm going to need them soon. Janad Maulin at the Mages Guild in the Foreign Quarter keeps them in stock. Elva Sairam is the garden at the entrance. Tell her you're looking for me, and she'll let you in. Your faithful friend, Mera. P.S. Left a couple of levitate potions for you, just in case. Couldn't remember if you knew the spell, so I drew a couple from stock. Found a note addressed to Amaya. I think it means she's in trouble, probably imprisoned in the Military of Truth. I'm to tell the guard the entrance I'm looking for Maramilo. For an escape plan, she also left two levitation potions. And surely she did. Just to be having that flask. <laughs> Whatever, man. I got confused. Okay, imprisoned, two divine intervention scrolls. Crap, crap. I just forgot where she told me to go. I put the I put it in my pocket. Of course I did. Why would, that would be stupid if I didn't do that. Mage's Guild, foreign corner. Cool. Oh, whatever. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
I don't know why my computer... Oh, I'm running two things. One moment. Alright. That might have helped, but by the sound of it, it didn't. Four and quarter. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to bumble around here on my own. One moment, everyone. Alright. I'm not actually there yet. But I wanted to mention my wonderful wife just texted me and she was like, Can you find me the video of the car dealership? Because she wants to watch Big Bill Hell's used cars. And of course I found it for her because I love her very much. Uh... And if you haven't seen it, you should. That's one of the greatest videos on the internet. Alright, I'm in the foreign quarter. Just gotta find the Mage's Guild. Can't believe I got expelled from the temple. I don't know if that's ever happened to me before. Just need the Mage's Guild, fam. Tidy. Can you tell me where that is? Fuck. I bought myself some Chips Ahoy recently. Because, like, I know that they're shit. They are. But I, I love Chips Ahoy. I don't know why. And like I can I can taste the saturated fats in them. Like I can literally feel the parts of them that you're told not to consume. Oh, oh, do you Hmm. Recall is actually useful. I'll take that. We'll get some barter going. That's it? Whatever. For the cash. Buh, worthless. Oh. You can't afford that, huh? No, not that either. Huh? All right. Smoke and deal. And you're just a miscellaneous salesman's. Sometimes it is wild to me how common magical items are in Morrowind to the point that, like, this ancient cursed super artifact is like 20 gold. Like what, what do you want? Is the exchange rate supposed to be in Morland? <laughs> My mind is straining. trying to understand the map here. Can't be down here, right? This is just like the gutty works of this place. Wait, aren't there two foreign quarters?
I'm just getting very distracted now. Pardon me, everyone. I'm very dumb and not good at video games. Actually, I have a plan for an LP that might be able to highlight my uh, talent at the video games. What am I doing in here, man? All right, I've got a dumb idea. Right. All right, this didn't go as planned. All right, I walk back to Vivek because here's my master plan. What is it? I'll just warp to it from another guild of mages. What is it? Now one of you sons of guns is going to have to sell this to me, right? All right, now let's just look through. Here we go. Nice. I suppose I have a moment. What is? Now we've got to get to the Ministry of Truth. Oh, duh! It's all the way up here. I feel stupid now. Let's see if we can survive the hit. Totally can. Uh, I think this is the best course of action now, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's save. And let's go. All right. So yes, recall that um, this was originally just a, a moon, like it was a it was another thing that was just floating in the sky up there, and it was thrown at the town, and Vivek caught it and was like, "Don't worry, guys, this moon will stay in the air." As long as everyone loves me, because that's how my powers work. And it's a lie, but it's a great way to keep dissidents out. No pilgrims. You're not here to visit one, are you? Mara said you'd come. I'll say you subdued me with magic and stole my key. It opens all three doors. Upper back door is the best. And lead to other keys for other doors inside. Search the keys and desk. No one carries keys on duty. Mayor's in the prison keep, in the cell, on the far right. Should you bring scrolls to get out. Some of us are sympathetic to the distant priest, but kill an ordinator, you lose that sympathy. You've got a rank in the temple, and you can bluff your way through. All right. Pretty bold to say that I subdued you with magic. All right, now we just got to hustle. What do you want? There is no escape. Die, what do they have? Is that a ebony swords? Because that's cool. If so. So yeah, this is the Ministry of Truth, the place where more lies happen in Morrowind than anywhere else. No escape. This is uh, Vivek's propaganda machine. This is where he, you know, starts to get it going. Ooh, 
Ooh, I've got a thing, actually. Jesus. See, this is why that locking spell would be useful. Now go. What do you want? Man, I am trying. Let's remember that I have uh, this this time, then, huh? You know, while only one of them is on me. What do you want? Guard sees him. Dude, you have to get out of the doorway. Thank you. Now go. Oh, hi. Why don't I just make a little wrap around here? Man, I don't remember where I got this amulet of opening, but it is dead useful. I think it's telling that the, you know, police in this in this world still use slurs. I think so. Go. Nothing to do with me, mate. Ain't shifting. Did the crime, I'm doing the time. Doing me time. It's a fair cop. <laughs> Nothing really. Just barracks talk. The lady present is a bread and lore. God, on his hind leg, it's gonna slip me like a sturgeon. Better this way. Damn sight better. You're a lot more Can I wait in here? Oh, I'm still floating. Man, this is video games, huh? Oh, hey. All right. Cool. I'm pleased with that. Yeah, let's see if we can't just do this a little better, quicker. Oh, hey. Do you have the invention scrolls? I have a plan. I'll need one to scroll myself out for my escape plan. Get out of here will be faster and safer if you have one, but you haven't got one for yourself. Find some other way out. Give me a scroll. I'll meet you with the secret priests at Holomayan. We'll travel separately. When you get back here, 
When you get out of here, look for a woman named Blada Hotaria on the east docks of Ebonheart. Tell her I sent you and you want to go fishing. Ah, I think we talked to her. Earlier. Um, meet you there. We'll get the lost prophetess from Gilvis Borello, leader of the distant priests. Magic conceals the Holom Holomayan entrance. Speak to Vevrana Aryan, a monk at the dock of Holomayan, about the entrance. All right, so I could just run out of here, huh? Oh, cool, she's gone. I actually don't need the scrolls then, huh? I can just hop on out. Pardon me, gentlemen. There's something I want from here. Alright, go, go, go. Wrong place. I want to steal an ordinator helmet. Although I think you can actually buy one from someone who's like bootlegging it. There's water down there, right? Phew. Alright, let's check my reputation. If caught. See, that's the thing, right? If caught. Anytime now. Alright. Slam dunk. Who am I talking to? The <clears throat> Pardon me. Vev. Have I got him a circle? Oh, damn it, I have. Much better. What's up, fool? What's this about? You sussy baka. <laughs> Why'd I talk to him? You're not gonna get a chance to let me. No, man, that's not happening. No. How can I help you, friend? Oh, can I help you? Are you the guy? You have OC. Where you going, fam? Oh, guy, I think he's lost. <laughs> Do I know you? Do you think you might want to go fishing? I know a fun place. Excellent fishing. Maramilo says it's her favorite spot. Well, come see when you're ready to go. I think <laughs> opening my mouth to say at the dock at home I am. Okay, cool. So I can go fishing. I was literally opening my mouth to say I think the coast is clear.
guards, they must be crazy. Go fishing? I know fun, but yeah. Here about that service anytime you need it. Good afternoon. Outlander, what do you want? I'm a monk of Homayan. Monastery is here on this island. Take the stone pathway north from the docks and the path uphill. The entrance is hidden by a magical shield. Wait or rest at the head of the path, and the portal will open at dusk and dawn only. Magical twilight hour sacred to Azura. Merimilo has told us to your coming of your coming. You can find him in the library with Master Borello. I can arrange for your return to Vivek whenever you're ready. No, I am not ready. What's Homayan? Sacred monastery of dissident priests. It's beneath the surface of a remote island along Azura's coast. A single entrance hidden f from view by hills and visitations. It's further protected by a magical shield which only opens at dusk and dawn. Magic twilight hours. Alright. So yeah. Azura is naturally... Something of a binary creature, not as much as, like, Vivek would be. Boy, is it overkill to kill a rat with a... with this thing. Tucked in this little nook here. Oh god, I'm slipping. Right, so I actually blew a lot of my money on um, getting training, because there's one person that can actually train me in short blade. Is it not dusk here? 10 p.m. Four hours should be two in the morning. And then three hours should be five. That should be dusk, right? Or dawn, rather. The opposite of dusk. And this is it, right? Alright, I've just checked. Dusk is 6am to 8am. Yeah, look at that. Alright. Shrine of St. Roars. Fortify health, nice. Saint Realm. Fortifies endurance, nice. Saint Saren. Versus poison, cool. Alright, and then what was that? Velos Indwelling. Nice. Thank you, Galena Pitchblend, for rescuing me. I'll stay at home mine with Master Borello and assist him within the monastery's library. He's the abbot of the monastery and the head of the order. We adopted the name Distant Priest. We're not ashamed of our disputes with the temple's hierarchy. We're fiercely loyal to the temple's ancient traditions, but we are troubled that the ultimate source of the tribunal's divinity might be the same as the source of Dagoth Or's evil power. Dagoth Or's power seems to wax as the tribunal's power wanes. Read the progress of truth and other documents of the apographa in our library, and you'll see why we're uneasy. Dagoth Or is the evil mortal enemy. Yada yada yada. We know that. Like loving ancestors. Tribunal guards and counsels us. Like stern parents, they punish our sins and errors. Like generous relatives, they share their bounty among the greatest and least according to their needs. Oh, Welcome, Outlander. All right. All right, I've reviewed the Apographa and found two passages of interest. We've made copies of these to give to you. Many are familiar with the two Nerevarian prophecies in current among the Ashlanders called the Stranger and Seven Vision. 
We have two others. Lost Prophecy and the Seven Curses. That might offer additional insights into the riddles surrounding the coming of the Incarnate. Perhaps these are the Lost Prophecies your friend Nabani Maisa told you about. We prepared a document for you called Kaganrak's Tools. It'll explain to you and others the terrible secret the Temple conceals about the true history of the Tribunal and the corrupt nature of their divine powers. It is to conceal the secret that the Temple persecutes the Nereverian and Distant Priests. This must stop. We must be united against the true enemy Dagoth Ur. And if you're the Nereverian, you must lead us against him. So what do we got here? Beneath Red Mountain, Dwemer miners discovered a great magical stone. By diverse methods, Lord Kaganrak, a high priest and mage crafter of the ancient Dwemer, determined the magical stone was the heart of the god Lorcan, cast here in the Dawn Era as punishment for his mischief in creating the mortal world. So yes, it's literally the heart of the creator god, ripped out and buried inside the Red Mountain. Determined to use its divine powers to create a new god for the exclusive benefit of the Dwemer, recall that the Dwemer are all atheists, um... Kaganrak forged three great enchanted ar artifacts, which are called Kaganrak's tools. Wraithguard is an enchanted gauntlet to protect its wearer from destruction when tapping the heart's power. Sunder is an enchanted hammer to strike the heart and produce the exact volume and quality of power desired. Volume may be amount, but it may be volume as in sound. Because recall that the Dwemer use tonal magic, tonal architects that use sound for things. Keening is an enchanted blade used to flay and focus the power that rises from the heart. When Kaganrak used these tools on the heart of the Battle of Red Mountain, no one knows what happened, but the Dwemer race disappeared entirely from the mortal world. Lord Nerevar and Dagoth retrieved the tools and didn't know what to do with them. Nerevar asked Dagoth to guard the tools while he went to consult with his counselors, Vivek, Almalexi, and Sothisel. So, here's something I'm going to drop on you. I believe that the reason that the Tribunal is three is because there are three tools. And I think they would have cut Sothisel out. And Vivek would have cut Almalexi out if there were less than that. And they might have folded in Dagoth, maybe. Uh, if there were four. He left and spoke with his counselors and decided to turn to Red Mountain to what to do. While Nerevar was God, gone, Dagoth was tempted and confused by the powers of the tools. When Nerevar and the counselors arrived, he refused to give up the tools, claiming he had sworn to Nerevar to protect them. Dagoth fought with Nerevar and the counselors and was mortally wounded and driven off. The tools were rec recovered. Nervar took the tools for safekeeping. They swore a great oath never to use the tools, but after Nervar's death, Vivek, Almalexi, and Sothisil yielded to temptation. They took these tools ben themselves and went to Lorcan's heart buried beneath the Red Mountain and gave themselves divine powers. Dagoth had not died. We don't know what happened, but this is what we believe. His experiments with the tools joined him to the heart's divine nature in some way. So he learned to draw power directly from the heart. So, basically... The Tribunal gets a cup and drinks out of the heart, whereas Dagoth, like, just magically is having the heart drift him to himself from wherever he is. We conjecture that Dagoth Ur, driven by anger and greed, used the heart without caution and restraint, and as a result has become powerful and mad. But the Tribunal showed great care and restraint of their use of the tools, and were not driven mad, and they did many good things. Nevertheless, the Tribunal appeared to have been corrupted by the heart's power, although subtly. Kaganrak's tools are cursed. Stealing power from the heart of a god is a terrible folly, and faded to disaster. The tribunal is losing its battle to control the power of the heart. They are sustained by the same tainted power that drives Dagoth Or mad. They grow weak and cannot protect us from Dagoth Or. But if they could, would we be wise to worship the gods such as these? They conceal the truth from us out of shame. They persecute the Nereverine and the distant priests out of shame. When instead they should be welcoming them and enlisting their aid against Dagoth Or. The Tribunal have done very much good for Morwen and the Dunmer, but they succumb to the temptation, and through these tools, and though these tools may have seemed the instruments of salvation, they must now be seen as the instruments of doom. What is this thing? Alright. Alright. Through the doors of the unmourned house, where scoffers scoff and schemers scheme, from the halls of the oath-breaking house, s s ring seven curses of gods blasphemed. First curse, curse of fire, curse of ash, flesh, ghost, seeds, despair, curse of dreams. Uh, your copy of the seven curses bears our guesses at interpreting the verses. In short form, 
Seven curses come from House Dagoth or House Dwemer or both. Fire and ash come from Red Mountain. Flesh is corpus. Ghost seed and despair are unclear, but dreams refer to cases of soul sickness and sleeper attacks in the towns. And last prophecy. From seventh star of eleventh generation, neither hound nor guar nor seed nor harrow, but dragon born and far star marked, outlander incarnate beneath Red Mountain, blessed guests counter seven curses. Star blessed hand wields thrice cursed blade to reap the harvest of the unborn house. I've annotated it, but the rough summary might be an outlander, foreign born, but welcomed as a guest, confronts seven curses beneath Red Mountain. His hand, blessed by Azura, use a cursed blade to bring justice to House Dagoth, or Dwemer, or both. The Nerebarine and Outlander, this wouldn't please many Ashlanders, and may explain how the prophecy got lost. Alright, journal updated. <clears throat> I have to bring these lost prophecies to Nibani Maise as soon as I can. Alright, cool. So, where am I? I'm at Azura's coast. Let's explore a little more, actually. You're a known criminal. Fuck you! Go- Annoying outlander. Go to hell! I'm a criminal with your enemy. Outlander. You guys are full of shit. That's... Speak your needs. Is that an oversight? Because they should not care. In fact, they should be like, Good, I'm glad you have a price on your head in Vivek. Everyone in this building does. That's... that's jacked. Oh, go, go, go! I was in there for two hours. Alright, let's make a hard save. Return to Vivek by Boak, arriving at the West Docks in Eminar. You ready? Actually, I don't really want to do that. What I need to do is walk to, um, walk this way, I guess. Which I don't have to do on screen, so I won't. While I'm walking here, you'd better believe I've got things to bitch about. Um, on the topic of people in the opposite faction complaining that I have a bounty with a faction. Like, let's, let's contextualize this to history and say it's like the Spanish Inquisition or something. Say that you're like a heretic and you're hanging out with other heretics, but because you're the main character, the other heretics are like, I heard people don't like you. It's like, yeah, because I'm a heretic. Like you are, you jackass. Like, it, it is something that is probably a product of the times. But man, this game could have used a much better faction system. And I know that, like, not every game can be, like, New Vegas level or higher. But man, I wish this had a better faction system. Because if you didn't know, there was actually a cut quest line in this whole thing wherein you ally with Dagoth Orr and take over Morrowind with him. And you know, one can easily draw comparisons to how, you know, Caesar's Legion is the enemy and they're, you know, almost like cartoonishly evil in New Vegas which is a later Bethesda game technically Obsidian but kind of Bethesda you know what I mean uses the same engine um but you can ally with them and doing so will turn basically everyone else against you but you can do it 
And so I argue that there's no real reason that you shouldn't be able to do that with Dagoth Ore. And they plan to do so, in fact, but they just couldn't because coding is really hard. Ooh, hey. Punching bags. The fact that he has a nipple ring is so crude. I don't know what it is, but it just really rubs me the wrong way. Ogrim. Oh, hey. I think your boss gave me this. How does that make you feel? So I could do some grinding here. Don't know if I need to. I don't really think I need to, in fact. Man, when they die, they like, they go like, oh, how much is this actually? I kind of want it. I've been wanting a blunt weapon. Cool. One moment, everyone. All right, I did a little bit of grinding, but not very much. I will break your bones fairly quickly, good sir. Fall. Uh, I also looted some dang old uh, weapons to sell. That means that I have a little uh, supply of goodies for now. Welcome, favored guests. See? They're all cool with it. Yes, what do you want? My yurt and hearth are yours. Who wanted to talk to me? Um, Nabani. Alright, if I said in your guy's watery ash pool. Right. Do you bring me news? You have three these lost prophecies. You will tell me these things over and over until I have them by heart. I have them written down. Is that all right? You will tell me what these priests say, what they see in my in these words. That you will leave me, hunt, sleep, f train, feed, learn the land. I must bring these things into me and place them before my ancestors and listen to them, in the skies of stars of my dreams. And when the moons have come and gone, return, and I will give you my judgment. My ancestors and sun and star my ancestors and stars give me clear signs. They leave no doubt. The incarnate shall be an outlander. You, blessed by Azura, must lift the seven curses of Dagoth. Prophecy has shown the seven steps of the Nerevarine's path, and I have been chosen as your guide for each step on that path. I will read the signs and show you the way. Time for you to walk the path of the seven visions and path the seven trials of the seven visions. You were born on, an uns on a certain day to uncertain parents. You passed the first trial. My dream showed me you can fulfill the second trial, that neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of flesh before him flies. I read the signs, but I cannot understand. I got corporous and was cured. I'm immune to disease and aging now. You have overcome the curse of that you have overcome the curse of flesh is strange enough, but that it should protect you from blight and age is past belief. Yet the signs of my dreams are clear. You passed the second trial. The third trial is unfulfilled. The mystery of the third trial is not my secret share. Go to Sulma Tool, guardian of our cult, and she'll tell you the third trial, third trial, return to me for guidance. Yes, Outlander, how do you do it? Can I sleep here without you guys getting pissy? Thank you. Let's get another one. Ah, the storm's up, good. You guys have to have a shop here. I guess you don't give a shit about money or septums. Shara? Yes, Go ahead, you... Is there something you Oh, hi, Neb. Hi. Do you have something to say? I must go to Sulma Tool. 
trying, fam. Is there something I can do for you? Where is Suma Tool? Where is he? And so he's an Ashken's yurt. You wish to know about the third trial, and I shall tell you. You've entered the path of the Nereberine. Hard thing to believe, but Nabani Maisa has spoken to me at length of this, and I've had time to consider. I shall keep my own counsel, and set before you my own test. I do not dispute with a wise woman, but their ways are not the ways of the warrior. Many have tried the path of the Nereberine, but all have failed the warrior's test. You must have strength, courage, and cunning. These things I would test. Nearby lies Kogorun, ancient halls of the forgotten house Dagoth. In recent times, creatures of the blight have come to dwell there. I myself went there with some brave hunters and came back again, but it was a bad place. I'm not ashamed to say I was afraid for myself and my men. If you would have from me the secrets of the third trial, the caverns dark where the Zura's eyes see, you will bring to me three tokens from Dark Kogorun. First token is Corpus Weepings, to show you, have pr to show you are proof against the disease corruption. Second is Cup of the Mark of Hasdagoth. I've seen such cups there, and I will know... And will know you have seen with your eyes what I have seen with mine. Third is the Shadow Seal, which rests on the tomb of Dagoth Morin in the lava tunnels beneath Kogorun. Ancient Dunmer Stronghold, let me mark it on your map. Go by day in good weather, or you may miss your way. Follow the coast east from Ushrilaku, Ushrilaku to a Dunmer Stronghold called Valenvarion and turn southwest. You'll see Ibernanit, a ruined Daedric shrine. Continue south from there. So, Valenvarion, which we've seen. Southwest to a Daedric Shrine. Do you have it is bad and deep. Go prepared. Do you have so Valen Valerion to here. Oh, it's there. Cool. So we can go straight there. Lovely. So yeah, I wanted to raise myself to a higher level because I wanted to make sure that I would get through the main quest without much hitches. Because they're, as we've seen, Caius will be like, hey, fuck off until you're a higher level for certain things on the main quest. That said, I will probably stop level grinding at 30, maybe. Which is to say, using the exploit of grinding. I will still be getting levels past 30, but... From there, it should not be a problem. Man, I love this game. It is kind of interesting that, like, the path of the Nereberine could just be, you know, it is a checklist, and once you've done all of them, you count. One moment. All right. We're nearly there, but also, I leveled up again, so that's cool. And if I could clear enough of this area... Oh, is that it? That's not it, right? Oh, no, I'm, I'm thinking that this one. This could be it, then. So yes, we've gotten another level. Now that I have a lot of really good armor and really good health, I can start to loop in... Oh, hi. No, <laughs> Great attempt. Alright. Speed, endurance, agility. 
Hard work and dedication always look like luck to saps. But you know. Alright, we're at Kogarun then. Which means... We'll do this next time. Uh, Ivan Alfred, this has been Morrowind. And we are truly on the path of the Nereverine now. I'm very pleased to be back on the main quest. So, as I said, Ivan Alfred, I hope you have a very good day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.